Okay, thanks, Sally. Hey, so we are just fascinated by the bright burning lights that we saw in the sky last night. Tons of you sent us uh, videos like this one. Local space experts say it is most likely associated with the second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket that launched earlier this month. It's a spectacular sight at about 9 o'clock last night. Joining us live this morning to explain what this uh, probably was is Jim Todd, our resident expert on space there from OMSI. Uh, he is the Director of Space Science and Education there. Good morning, Jim. Hey, good morning. Well, first of all, let's get right to, uh, let's cut to the quick here. What do you think that was last night? Well, definitely, and it was quite a show. And uh, there's a view from all over the Pacific Northwest. And uh, since I saw the video, and we definitely could see it was a man made object in the Earth's atmosphere. And uh, it was coming from uh, the SpaceX Falcon 9 second stage. And I've done the March 4th Starlink launch to fail to make the, the orbit burn. And after 22 days later, uh, it uh, entered the Earth's atmosphere. It was traveling at 17,500 miles per hour. And we saw it uh, in the atmosphere and lasted for about 20 seconds. And so that's pretty typical of a man-made object. If it was a fireball, it would have been much shorter. And is that just because uh, it would have been moving faster or uh, just looks different because it's man-made? How, how can you kind of tell the difference? Yeah, man-made uh, takes a while for it to burn. It's going at a slower rate than a fireball, like a, a meteoroid or an asteroid to be to, to much faster. And so with the man-made object, uh, we have a lot more friction. We can actually see in the kind of like what we call sparkles, the debris are left behind. And so that is another example of a man-made object and the color as well, uh, as you pointed out. And so um, we're not expecting any debris. Uh, but you never can count it out. Yeah, this is so. This is what what intrigues me about this is that it floated. I, I'm, I'm understanding uh, you and others I've heard from uh, since this happened that this floated in the low level Earth atmosphere for over two weeks, almost three weeks before re entering the atmosphere. Do we have any idea where this may have landed? Is there anything that, my point is, is there anything that gets to the ground that's still intact or does everything just burn up upon re entry? Yeah, that's, that's the tricky part is that we're trying to get as many reports we can so we can triangulate the idea where it might have ended up. Um, it uh, probably, I would say, somewhere uh, in the eastern part of Pacific Northwest, but it's hard to say and, and um, no confirmation of it. Um, there's a lot of vegetation that adds up to the challenge. But uh, it could easily have been in Idaho, Montana, who knows, um, but uh, we'll see. Well, it's interesting, you know, we, we've seen SpaceX really expanding. It's, it's rocket launching, uh, testing and, and program. Yeah. We're seeing other private companies getting into this as well. So are we more likely to see things like this happening more frequently? Well, let's put it this way, I hope not. Um, <laughs> the, this is the 14th time that, uh, uh, that a large debris entered the Earth's atmosphere since January 1st. And so... Uh, SpaceX is trying to put up a uh, series of satellites and they're going to put 120,000 satellites in orbit. So there's going to be a whole series of these. Uh, obviously, we haven't seen this before, but this one, uh, second day, uh, has some problems and um, we, we got to see it. But uh, let's just hope that it doesn't uh, happen again because uh, who knows, it can land in a populated area. Yeah, it's it's pretty, but but could be problematic. Right, it was a spectacular sight, mm -hmm. so much as so much as it is. Jim Todd from OMSI this morning, putting a little clarification on last night's light show in the sky over the northwest. Thanks, Jim. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next time. Okay, next time. You got Thank it. Thank you. All right, it's 7:22 a.m. Extra, just getting started. Still ahead, another reason why Portland is a top vegetarian destination. In just a few minutes, we will take you into a new Southeast Portland restaurant. It's called.